Hello there, coming up on Cardiff Live, we chat with pensioners who are not happy to pay their licence fee. And we find out why board games have entered the mainstream in a big way. You will not be bored. So Chance Encounters is a brand new venue for beer and board games. Essentially, it's here to bring people into the world of board games and make it seem like it's not just a one-note hobby. But first, Cardiff Airport News has troubled airline Flybe have cancelled flights from the capital. Five flights were cancelled last week and flights were cancelled from Edinburgh and Glasgow on Monday. The airline have said the problems were down to operational reasons and the knock-on effect of weekend disruption. Welsh Government-owned Cardiff Airport said it would continue to work with its airline partners to ensure safe and secure services for their customers. Next, the Prince of Wales, as part of his tour of Wales, visited a forest in South Wales to see a demonstration of horse logging. Prince Charles was visiting Tina Coid Forest near Llantrisant, which is managed by Natural Resources Wales. Contractors for Natural Resources Wales use horse logging to thin the conifers and remove the trunks without damaging nearby broadleaf trees. Heavy machinery cannot operate in the wood due to previous mining in the area and the need for precision felling to avoid damaging surrounding trees. And finally, a new shipping container bar could be opened at Wales Millennium Centre. The centre in Cardiff Bay wants to open a new bar and patio area outside the entrance to its on-site fresh restaurant. If allowed by Cardiff Council, the new bar area would have 104 seats, which could be packed up at the end of the day, along with performance zones for musicians, screenings and readings. Potential opening times for the new bar could be 12pm to 10pm, Monday to Sunday, according to a planning application submitted to the Council. Wales Millennium Centre hopes that the new bar would be used alongside events such as markets and outdoor screenings. Those were your headlines here on Cardiff Live.